Israel says it will respond to this weekend's drone and missile attack from Iran. I'm Mike Montecalvo. And I'm Kim Kalunia. And the Biden administration is pushing Israel to make it a diplomatic response and not a military one. The U.S. military helped thwart Iran's attack. And now Israel's war cabinet met to discuss a response. Meanwhile, President Biden says the U.S. will continue to provide defensive support to Israel. But he raised concerns about the already high tensions because of the ongoing Israel-Hamas war. We're committed to a ceasefire that will bring the hostages home and preventing conflict from spreading beyond what it already has. And with the escalation over the weekend, some are concerned that Iran's attack on Israel could further widen the war in the Middle East. We spoke with Senator Jack Reed this morning about his thoughts after Saturday's attack. Jake Holter joins us now live in studio with more. Jake. Well, Mike and Kim, Senator Reid is of the same opinion as the Biden administration in terms of what happens next, saying there's no need for Israel to retaliate. I think the first step now is to begin to de-escalate. Uh, to begin to understand that there are enough important issues before uh, the Israeli government. Senator Jack Reed, chair of the Armed Services Committee, saying Monday morning that Israel should refrain from retaliating against Iran following the barrage of missiles Iran launched at Israel on Saturday. Reed said we had intelligence that Iran was planning an attack which contributed to the success of the defense. But Reed did say that the attack by Iran was not wholly unprovoked. This was uh, less related, in my view, to the Hamas uh, fighting than it was to Israel's attack on the embassy compound in Damascus, Syria, uh, which uh, under international law, embassies are considered sovereign territory. So. Textron, Textron, you got Pro-Palestine protesters gathered in front of Textron Monday afternoon, which Textron told us they were aware of ahead of time and had been in contact with law enforcement to ensure the safety of employees, tenants, and guests. One protester we spoke with saying Iran was justified in its actions and that the U.S. should not get more involved. Would any other country tolerate that? Would the United States tolerate a country coming and bombing our embassy, killing one of our generals? Absolutely not. We would respond with force. And we say that the United States absolutely shouldn't be drawn into a wider war in the Middle East. Now, Reid emphasizing that he believes the Israeli government should focus on the fight against Hamas and securing more significant humanitarian aid than any further direct engagement with Iran. Jake Holter, 12 News.